The following is a production of New Mexico State University. Welcome to another episode of Long Live La Familia, the nutrition soap opera series that speaks not only to our hearts, but also to our stomachs. I'm Carrie Bachman, and I'm your host for the series. Today's episode is entitled, Esas Dietas No Sirven, Why Wait? And in English, that means, those diets aren't worth anything. So as you can guess, the topic of today's show is weight control and body image. Now, our episode today features the daughter in the family whose name is Lisa. Lisa is a single mom. She's got two teenage daughters, and she also has a full-time job. So she's really busy. She's got a lot going on in her life. Now, if you've watched our episodes before, you know that there are several things that make them unique. We have three different segments, and so we'll be able to be back together and talk about what we've seen and apply it to our own lives. The other thing that's interesting is each segment has a mixture of Spanish and English together. Now don't worry if you don't speak any Spanish, you'll still be able to understand everything that's happening. And if you're trying to bone up on your Spanish, all the better. Today of course we're going to be making a recipe as we always do. And because we're looking at teenagers and body image, we're going to use a recipe that's very popular with that age. It's a dip that can be used with both fruit and with vegetables. Now as we watch this first segment of the episode, I want you to pay particular attention to what, is the, what the relationship is between good health and good looks. Oh, ya se me hizo tarde. Miguel will be here soon. Oh, hace tanto que no salgo con un hombre. Just hope I gave him our new address. What are you going to eat, Monique? Mi cena favorita. Peanut butter, graham crackers, and yogurt. I'm just going to have some chips and ranch. I never get to eat chips at home. Si, ahora que tía Vicky está de dieta, ella no compra chips. Tú comes las mismas cosas que la Silvia. Here's your water. Um, no quiero agua. I'm having a diet soda instead. ¿Quieres una? Girls, do you know what my new bracelet is? La pulsera de plata? Creo que la vi en el baño. I'll go check. Oh, I hope my date likes the way I look. Tia Lisa, trust me, you look great. No te preocupes por lo que vaya a pensar tu amigo. Y ese vestido está en onda. Would you believe I bought this dress in 1973? Todavía me queda bien. Maybe Miguel can't find the house. Hello? Oh, hey, hermanito. Oh, I'm doing great. I'm just getting ready for my date. Yeah. Voy a ir a cenar con Miguel. Mm -hmm. No, your dad doesn't know what he's going to Sí, dad piensa que mamá está vieja ahora. Oye, Santiago, dile a Fidel que venga a mirar videos con sus primas. Raquel has not seen him since the family reunion. Uh-huh. Yeah. Santiago, I gotta go. Mom. Te ves bien chula. Pues me cuido y trato de comer bien. Eating right makes a difference. Look how good your grandma looks in this picture. Sí, ella se ve bien for her age. Por suerte, mucha de la familia Sierra somos saludables. Your tía Carlota, for one. She has so much energy. Y tío Samuel se está mejorando ya que come como un conejo. Even my mom's healthier now too since she's been eating all those baked chips. Los dos se ven mucho mejor ahora. Well, I don't know that your tío Samuel and your mom are your best role models. ¿Sabe lo que dice grandma? Es, es mejor, mejor comer, comer un poco de todo. He's here. Uh, Monique, por favor, abre la puerta, mijita. I'll be ready in a minute. Ay, ay. Do 
bad Sylvia's not here to meet him. I wonder what he's like. ¿Qué piensas tú? ¿Qué está guapo? Now, we're going to go ahead and start with our recipe. And as I mentioned, this is something that teenagers really like to eat. Did you notice what Monique was eating for dinner? Graham crackers with peanut butter and then some yogurt. It's not really your typical dinner, and yet it's a healthy choice. And so we're going to build this recipe today around peanut butter. And what I've got here is a kind of peanut butter that is actually lower in sugar and lower in sodium. You think, wow, that's pretty good, isn't it? Well, as we're measuring, we'll talk a little bit about whether that's good or not. We're going to use half a cup of it today. And peanut butter actually is a really healthy food. Although you know it's high in fat, it also has a lot of protein, and that's important for growing bodies like teenagers and children. So it's, it's not a food that you want to cut out of your diet entirely. Here we've got about half of a cup. Go ahead and dump that in here. But the interesting thing is, as with anything you buy at the grocery store, it's really important to read the labels. Now, if I've got a container of this new kind of peanut butter, I also want to compare it to the same old regular, regular creamy peanut butter. And if you look at the labels on the back, we're not going to do that in detail here today, you'll notice that the regular peanut butter actually doesn't have a lot of sugar or salt in it to begin with. So while this is reduced in sugar and salt, it doesn't actually gain you that much. So what I suggest with products like these is you try them both, whichever one you like, that's the one you should be eating. Now some products there is a greater difference and that's when you should choose the product that's lower in fat or sugar or whatever the uh, nutrient is. So we have our peanut butter here. Now this is gonna be a dip and it's kind of a sweet dip. We're gonna add now some honey. And you can see what I've got here was able to find just at the local grocery store New Mexico made honey. And this means we're supporting our local beekeepers, which is a lot, a lot nicer than having to buy honey from somewhere where we don't know where it's really coming from. This is a good way to keep farming going in the area where you live. Sometimes you can even buy honey at a farmer's market and um, meet the beekeepers in person. So we'll put in about two tablespoons. The nice thing about honey is it adds a really nice sweet flavor, but it also adds more than sweetness. It adds also, you know, a nice taste as well. We could add sugar here, but that would just be sweet. Honey, we add a little bit more flavor. Okay, so we've got our honey and our peanut butter. We'll have two more ingredients to add, and we'll set this aside for the moment and add them later. Now, as we're looking at this next episode, what I'd like you to focus on what are the external images, external environmental factors in our lives that affect the way we feel about our bodies? So it's not just how we personally feel about our bodies, but what other people are telling us and what the media is telling us too. Let's take a look. So you run track, Monique. Yo también corrí en la universidad, pero me lastimé el otro día y ya no puedo. Ah, uh, no. I don't know what I'd do if I ever had to stop running. Bueno, pero por lo menos todavía puedo bailar. You dance? Sí, I used to dance more than I do now. Yo bailaba disco todo el tiempo, pero ya no tengo tiempo. I know, I hardly dance anymore either, ever since I had my baby. Sí, tú y la Silvia no más vender novelas todo el tiempo. Tía Vicky says, Raquel's got to feel real soap opera fanatic. But mom, on the other hand, she's... Yeah, Tia Lisa always walks during her breaks at work. Y si llega temprano de trabajo, sale a dar la huerta en bicicleta. Oh, si. Si. Me gusta mantenerme arriba. Oh, hi. Uh, te traje esto. I hope you like them. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet of you. Listo? Yes, uh, let's go. Uh, girls, mucho gusto. It was nice visiting with you. Now, girls. No scary movies, okay? Y no se desvelen. Don't eat all my candy. Mom, no te preocupes. Have a good time. Thank you. Bye. God, all this talk of exercise makes me feel guilty. Just 
Look at this model. Qué flaca. Quisiera estar así. Raquel, what are you worried about? Ser tan flaca como ella no es saludable. To me, she looks too thin. Yeah, but guys like thin. Me voy a poner la dieta. I called him for this really cool hamburger diet I saw on TV. Oh, esa dieta que te deja comer todo la carne que quieras, pero poquito pan? Mm -hmm. I'll be able to eat as many hamburgers as I want, and then I'll just throw away the buns. <laughs> but then what about your beloved cookies? Tampoco vas a poder comerlas? Esas dietas no sirven, Raquel. Don't waste your time and money on these lies. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Les gusta mi máscara? Si, te ves mejor así, Mr. Roswell Avian. <laughs> oh, hi, Raquel. Hey. Where's Sylvia? Oh, Sylvia está visitando mi mamá. Y yo vine pa' acá. Hey, Fidel. Tell me, do guys have girls to be really thin? Is that all you think about these days? ¿Por qué las muchachas se preocupan tanto de su peso? Uh, come on. Vamos a ver el video de la reunión. Oh, cool. Ahora le vamos a cantar esta canción, Sabor a mí, con mucho cariño para ellos. What did you notice in that last episode that had an effect on the character's body image? The first thing I saw was the magazine that Raquel was reading. Now I brought some magazines today and we're going to take a look at them as well. It's incredible if you take a look at the magazines you have at home, exactly how many images there are in magazines, both in advertising and in the articles themselves, that relate to your body image. Whether it's, whether, whether it's the image of wanting to look thin or trying to buy food that will help you do that. Let's take a look at some of these that we see here in 17. And you can find these in any magazine that you have yourself at home. This first ad advertisement is for a skin scrub. And it looks fairly plain on the surface. It doesn't look like very much, does it? It's got a picture of a mirror with the apricot scrub in the middle. And it says, who's the most radiant of them all? Now that recalls to us fairy tales and it also makes us think a little bit, okay, number one, it's important to look good. And number two, it's important to look best of all. It's really, really like a competition. And this sets women up for that competitive, um, it sets women up for trying to look better than other women. And that's not a healthy way to be. It says in the smaller print, it's not your mirror that's magic, it's this scrub. So again, it's as if you need to have some sense of magic or something added to you to make you look better and be a better person. Nothing talking about any, anything inside yourself such as what you're really like or what your feelings are. Here's another ad from the same magazine. And you notice here it's a little bit more risque, isn't it? We will, all we see of the woman is a little bit of hair and then her long legs sticking out from underneath the picture that she's holding. It's as if the woman herself doesn't matter at all. Only thing that matters is her appearance and her body. Her heart, her spirit, her mind, all of that is hidden. This is a very strong message to be sending to teen girls. Now we look at the text underneath. This is an ad for um, shaving gel. Picture perfect legs. So again, we're looking at perfection and at the picture of something, not reality, but a picture. Picture perfect legs in a wild new flavor. That's kind of an odd thing to be associating flavor with shaving gel, but advertisers are very smart. They know that food elicits a lot of emotions in women, and so you'll see a lot of food imagery and words being used in advertisements that aren't even selling food. Let's take a look now. Let's take a look now at another magazine, and this is a general woman's magazine, so the audience is a little bit older woman who has children at home. And the first ad that we see here has a huge picture of a little girl happily munching away on a blueberry muffin. 
So the child is happy. That's important for family, for parents, isn't it? And the text says the great buttery taste you can feel good about giving your family. So the immediate thought is in order for a woman to feel good, she number one has to buy this product. Number two, she has to do something for her family. She can't feel that she herself is good as a person without having some connection to other people. And that's a trap that women fall into quite a bit. Now in terms of the food part of this advertisement, it's interesting that it says it has great buttery taste. This is not butter, this is margarine. And for years people have been substituting margarine for butter, thinking that it's healthier. Well, it's true that butter doesn't have cholesterol, but it is that, that it's true that margarine doesn't have cholesterol, but this margarine, in fact, has a lot of fat in it. The advertisement doesn't tell you that. It just says the flavor says butter. Let's look now at another ad in the same magazine. Here we notice a child who's very happy holding some Lunchables, which is a kind of fast food snack product. And the title at the top, Balanced Fuel That's Cool. So here we're playing to two audiences. Balanced fuel, that makes the moms feel good that they're giving the child something healthy. That's cool, so the kid thinks that they can go to school and everyone will think that their lunch is really neat. A lot of times advertisements for food are played to children nowadays because children often shop at the grocery stores with their parents. Now what it says in the small print underneath, a balanced lunch with good stuff from four of the food groups. Well, it's pretty easy to have a lunch that has things from four of the food groups. The question is, are those items in each of the food groups as nutrient dense as they could be? And in this case, they're not. This meal is fairly high in fat, high in sodium, and low in important nutrients that children need. Now, I'm not saying that all advertising is bad or that these products in particular are not worthy to be bought. It's just that we need to make sure we're looking at advertisements critically in terms of how they affect our body image and our food purchases. Something else that impacts women's body images and people's body images in general is the family in which they grow up. In our case of this episode, Tia Lisa is a very healthy individual and she's kind of passed on those values to her daughter. But Raquel, the cousin, didn't grow up in such a family. Her mother's very concerned about diets, and you can see how that's affected her own eating habits and attitude towards her own body. So it's important for us as adults to kind of recognize that and try to instill in our own selves healthier body images that can then carry through to our children. Now, let's go ahead and continue on with our recipe. You remember we've got our peanut butter and our honey already measured in. Now what we're going to do is add another ingredient, and this is another thing I like to say. Remember, start with something healthy that you like, and number two, be adventurous. And in this case, we're going to be adding an ingredient you might think is really pretty strange, pumpkin. You see this only at Thanksgiving in most houses. But the thing that's good about pumpkin is, as you can see, it's bright orange, which is a signal to us that it's high in vitamin A. And a lot of children and adults both are not getting enough vitamin A in their diets. So this dip is a good way to enjoy your peanut butter and also get a little bit more vitamin A. And you want to use about the same amount of peanut butter and pumpkin. You can actually use twice as much pumpkin if you'd like and it'll give a creamier texture and even more vitamin A to the dish. Okay, so we'll just put that right in here. See, you can even use the same measuring cup. No need to wash. All right. Now, our final ingredient. You know me, I like to add spice to everything. And what's a spice that goes well with pumpkin? Well, cinnamon. You could also add nutmeg or allspice. We're going to put in about a quarter of a teaspoon here. Just sprinkle it over the top. So another one of those one dish recipes. Now what I'm going to do is just mix it up. You can either use your spatula or a spoon. This peanut butter is fairly warm at this point sitting out under these lights. You might want to use a harder spoon, but you can see as it mixes together, it really makes a nice uniform product and also a really beautiful color. This is a great party dip too. Much something that you might like to serve at holiday time or even in the summer. You can put it in the refrigerator before serving it and it gets nice and thick. 
there we go. That's all the mixing that it requires. This is something, again, that children can make on their own at home after school as a snack. Now, after we watch the next episode, we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit about how to serve this dip. Now, we're going to go into our next episode and, and continue to think a little bit about healthy lifestyle and how our environment affects us in that way. Now, you noticed in the last episode, we also talked a bit about exercise and how it's important with exercise, too, to do something you like and also to be adventurous. In Miguel's case, he used to be a runner, but then he hurt his knee and he wasn't able to run anymore. And so now he actually dances. And that's kind of an interesting activity. Not a lot of men his age are probably real into dancing. So again, do something you like that's healthy and be adventurous. I wish I could have been at the reunion. Get lost, Mom. Where put a vegetable on me, Papa? I think I heard our truck pull up in the driveway. La niñera mandó un mensaje en el beeper. Monique, uh, will you show me the other telephone, Mita? Where is it? Creo que lo dejé en la cocina. Here, Monique, would you like some veal parmesan? Gracias. Pero no como carne. Ah, you're a vegetarian. Are you sure you're getting the protein? I think I eat fine. Anyways, Raquel y Silvia son las que no comen bien. Did I hear you say a babysitter called you? Si, sí, yo tengo una hija. Nancy just turned seven last week. Oh, she's cute. Thank you. Here's the phone. Thank you. Hola, tío. ¿Y esas flores? Para felicitarlas por su nuevo hogar. Yeah, Dad, didn't they pick out a great trailer? Yeah. Manufactured home. Can I borrow the keys and drive while you guys talk? Estos muchachos y los carros. Okay, go. Be careful. Okay. Santiago, thank you so much for the flowers. It is tan bueno. Who's that? ¿Cómo puedo yo competir con ese hombre? I better skip lunch tomorrow. Y así empezar a deshacerme de esta panza. Lisa, tengo que irme. ¿Todo bien? ¿Es something wrong at home? No, no es nada serio. Bueno, nos vemos. Pa, did I do something wrong? Don't tell me that was your date. Yeah. I was just being myself. Pues si no le caigo bien, es mejor saberlo ahora, ¿verdad? It's good to see you so confident in yourself, sis. Ahora estás más segura de ti misma. Thanks, Santiago. Ah, por eso se fue. He was jealous. Celoso de mí. Santiago, you're going to have to help me fix this. Ah, no quieres que Miguel piense que tú y yo estamos saliendo. Right. Pues, ¿qué vamos a hacer? No te preocupes, it's a simple plan. Ay, Raquel y sus cookies. What we need to do is this. Did you notice something about that last segment? The girls were sitting watching a video on the couch, kind of just eating mindlessly. In our culture, it's very common to just eat without thinking, and that's one reason we tend to be a little heavier than we should be. What I recommend to people is actually sitting down to a smaller plate of food that's really delicious food that you really are looking forward to eating and mindfully eating that. That way you'll enjoy what you're eating, you'll have a sense when you're full, and you won't have to keep eating and keep eating to fill another part of you. Now, we're going to go ahead and finish up our dip here. Here's the dip, and I've cut up some vegetables to go with it. And here we've got some fruit. Now, the fruit is what you might normally think about having with a peanut butter dip. You can take a banana, cut it up into chunks, 
or actually serve a whole banana spread with some of this dip, and it's really delicious, especially for young children. Apples can be used as dippers in addition. But now the vegetables you may not have thought about, but peanut butter goes really well with vegetables. We've got our carrot sticks, which is something you normally, a lot of kids like to fill with peanut butter. And if you fill them with this dip rather than straight peanut butter, you're getting the added benefit of some vitamin A and not quite as much fat as you would otherwise. So that's really a better choice. Here we've got some green pepper strips, which tend to be nice and sweet, and children like to eat them as well with this type of dip. And here's the real surprise. Here's the adventurousness that I was talking about when we put, when we put pumpkin into our dip. You also have turnips. And turnips are wonderful food that kids actually really like. They're crunchy, they're not too bitter tasting, and yet they have a nice little bit of a bite to them. And so what you can do is just dip them in to the peanut butter, into the peanut butter dip mixture, and just eat. They're not cooked or anything. It's a wonderful snack and a great way to introduce a new vegetable to your kids and possibly to yourself if you're not familiar with it. In fact, let me show you what a turnip looks like so if you're in the store you know what to look for. It's got kind of a purple top and a white bottom just like this. Well, that's our episode for the day. And as usual, I'd like to leave you with a goal for the week to, that comes. Remember what I've talked about today about healthy eating. First, you want to start with something healthy that you like to eat and add something adventurous. So think for a moment, what are the things that you like to eat? And write them down on a piece of paper, the healthy things. And then set a goal for this next week, what is a new food that you're going to try? You may not even know what that food is, but at least plan to go to the grocery store and find something healthy and new to try over the next week. I hope you've enjoyed our episode and long live our families. Proceeding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.